Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, please subscribe and join the family. I would love to have you here. Don't forget to uh, like and hit the bell for an upcoming video. And without further ado, let's get into this look. already did my brows if you need a tutorial on that you can check out my previous video I probably have how I do my brows and if you need um, another one I can do because I have like so many ways of how I do my brows so just let me know this is one of my kind of very thick brows but I like it for today's look I'm going to prime my face I have my moisturizer on and my SPF, which is always important to me. I'm going to start with the Becca First Light Primer Filter. This purple shade just makes my skin not reddish and ready to apply with the foundation. And it just sticks to the skin it looks like my skin but better with this primer so i like it i'm using this uh, with a beauty blender like a beauty sponge oh and for the pores today i'm going to use a new primer and this is the smashbox um, minimize pores primer and it's just like the benefit primer same idea just for the pores just making sure just right in the center because this is where i usually have big pores and then i'm gonna go with the becca um highlighter it's a very intense highlighter and I like to use it before my makeup on top of my cheekbone right here. It is intense but it's gonna look perfect with uh, the foundation. Beautiful. Okay and the foundation I want to use today is the Clinique. I love this foundation so good um i'm in the number cn 74 what does that mean um beige m i think it's medium but this just gives me a very high coverage foundation so it covers everything and it's kind of gonna match my my body because I am fake tan today and I just wanted to match everything and with this highlighter that I have it's gonna look a little dewy so perfect and the concealer I'm gonna use the NARS concealer today and I have the small one here and it's in the color medium one custard the same beauty blender beauty sponge blending the concealer first looks flawless it really does I'm going to change the side and blend here the concealer first. And then whatever left on 
my eyelids. So as you see, this side are is really dewy. It's like blended really well with the highlight that I put on before, so it looks dewy and fresh skin look. Just want to blend everything till it will look seamless. I'm gonna apply more of the concealer. I think I need a little more right here. Well, so it's already looking seamless, and now I'm going to powder my face just to make sure everything will stay So I don't want to powder all over because I want this freshy look to stay. Um, I'm going to contour my face with a new contour powder, which is from Kevin Kwan. I heard so many good things about it. So as you see, like this cool shade and I really want to try it. So. It's new. Oh, very intense. Ooh, that's too much. Okay, so a little bit goes a long way with this. Be careful. Now I'm gonna apply some on my nose, contour it a little. Does it look contour? I mean, I think, I think it's enough. Okay, and now to warm up the skin, I'm gonna go with this Physician Formula bronzer. Just a bit of a bronzy color right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this blush from Tarte. It's like I had this for years and it's still amazing. So, I'm gonna go with the same brush as I used for the bronzer. Such settled blush. So cute. Kind of like everyday kind of blush. I like how it makes me look. Now I'm going to apply some. Highlight. I take this brush and this uh, highlighter is a Ladder highlight for my favorite part of this video actually. This is uh, the Huda Beauty uh, Pastel Palette. Look at this palette. So stunning. Especially with this green one right here. I'm gonna start building up like the shades right here first. I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid. We'll kind of give it a greenish vibe to it. And I'm all about this color. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. I love it already. And this brush is kind of like to apply it like all over, kind of. I'm not really doing anything special here, but now I want to build it up a little. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go with a deeper shade. Just to intense this 
right here. Okay, I'm already in love with this look. I'm going to apply this greenish one to my inner corner actually. This looks amazing. I'm going to take the shades right here. Such a greenish shade. And I applied it over to my inner corner. Yeah, it looks much nicer like that. Like it looks so unique. You know, just the inner corner like that is really amazing. So I don't want to do too much with my eyes today. I just want to apply some brown eyeliner and lashes. Make it the look. I'm going to use this um, Pat McGrath. Mascara is so good. Like, really, really good. Okay, so I'm almost finishing. I'm just waiting for the first coat to dry. Meanwhile, I can do my lips. Using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Pencil. Just a quick and easy lip situation right now. I also did my lower lashes a bit. But yeah, that's really completes this look. I'm gonna go over a little bit with this blondie lipstick, multi-lipstick from Bite Beauty. Just give it a new color. This is also good for a mask day. I have to go and I have to put my mask on so this look will be good to go because I have my powder on. I'm good. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this complete, this look, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!